Those of you who are familiar with Palutena might have noticed something a little bit off about that clip just now. I'm sure that many of you have the exact range of Palutena's warp seared into your minds, and you might have expected to see something like the following occur. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain how to perform a reliable, consistent length short warp on Palutena, give some useful setups that I've found for my own practice, and finally, I'm going to take a brief look at other characters with teleport moves, and going to see how useful, or not in some cases, this tech might be for each of them. So, how do you go about executing one of these short warps? Well, the first thing you want to do is up B as usual to trigger the warp. Then, on any of these three frames on screen right now, which are frames 13 through to 15 of the warp animation, you want to move your right control stick in the direction you want to short warp in. Make sure the stick is still being held down on the last of these three frames, as if you flick the stick on one of the first two and if released it by the last one, you will not short warp. If you perform the trick correctly, Palutena will warp in the direction you are holding the right stick in at a shorter distance than usual. If you miss the timing, Palutena will default back to whichever direction you are holding the left stick in at a full warp distance, or straight up if the left stick was left in neutral. This technique works with the right stick bound to both tilt and smash attacks, however the smash stick warp is slightly longer than the tilt stick warp, although both are still shorter than a regular warp. With that being said, however, the remainder of this video is going to focus exclusively on the tilt stick variant, as that's the variant with which I'm most familiar. Now, when you're applying short warping, the main use you're going to find from it is in ledge cancelling, as by having two separate warp distances, you effectively have double the number of positions from which you can ledge cancel. For learning the distance, the best method that I found was to jump onto a battlefield platform roll onto one side of the platform, short hop, and then short warp ledge cancel off of the other side. Once you get the hang of that, you can start mixing in full hops from the stage floor, jump get-ups, full hops from one of the side platforms into ledge cancel off of the top platform, and all sorts of other stuff. Something that I found really challenging but quite useful is to stand on one of the side platforms, ledge cancel off of the top platform and then immediately short warp again and ledge cancel off of the other side platform to the one you jumped off of. Of course, these are all just useful for learning the distance. Once you get it down, you can use it in your games just freeform as with regular ledge cancels. Of course, Palutena's warp is not the only teleport move in the game, and this technique does work on all of the other teleports I've tested it with. Unfortunately, on both Sheik and Mewtwo, the technique is almost useless, as their teleports are shortened by only a tiny amount. Meta Knight's is shortened by a fairly substantial amount, it might be worth looking into if you're a Meta Knight player. Zelda seems to get some utility from this as well, as hers is shortened by a moderate amount, and it can allow for her up to connect with both hits at lower percents than usual. For instance, you can see here that the Bowser at 0% is hit by both hits of the teleport only when shortened, I don't know if this is going to be practical or not, but it might be something to look into if you're a Zelda main. Although it does bear mentioning that as Zelda's teleport has a hitbox on exit, if you hit someone, the hit lag will change the timing of the motion needed to perform a short warp. And that should just about cover short warping. Hopefully some of you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.